hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video we'll look at how we can install windows 11 on a mac device and this one is running an m1 chip now you'll need a few things before you can begin the install i'm going to be using utm as my hypervisor we'll also need the image for windows 11. now to get that image we'll need uh, an app called crystal fetch so you need to open your app store and search for crystal fetch and then once you get this up it should look like this this is the app you need and as you can see here we have a, an option to select windows 11 or windows 10 and once you have it selected all you have to do is click download and once you have it downloaded the file should look something like this right here so i already downloaded it it looks like it's like the file size is about 6 gb that's the iso image you'll need and to get UTM, just uh, open a browser and search for UTM for Mac. Go to that link and click download here and then just install it like you would install any, any other app. Okay, once you have it installed, this is what you'll get for UTM. Now that we have all those items, we can begin the install. You can click on this or you can click here to create a new virtual machine. So click on this, click on virtualize going to be windows and here we need to select the iso image click on browse select the ISO, select the iso image you downloaded for windows 11 click on open we'll leave this checked so that we can install drivers and spice tools then click on continue i'm going to go with the defaults here of uh, 4 gb for memory and cpu i'm going to go with the defaults click continue disk size I'm going to go with the default here, 64 GB, click continue and click continue here. You can change this if you want to, Windows 11. I'm going to leave the rest and click save. And now we have the virtual machine. I'm going to start it, click on this to begin the install. Okay, here you have to press any key so that you can boot from this uh, CD or DVD drive. Okay, here I'm gonna go with the English as my language. Click next. I uh, don't have a product key. I'm gonna go with the Windows 11 Pro. Click next. I'm gonna accept. I'm going to select this, click next. It shouldn't take too long. So it's done and it's going to boot, it's going to, it's going to do a re restart here. Okay. At this point, don't press any keys because it's gonna go into the installation again. Just leave it to restart on its own. Okay, here we'll go with the United States as our region, click yes. Uh, US is a keyboard, yes. Skip. We'll put in our name here. Next. Put in our password. Next. Confirm the password. Next. Uh, security questions, I'll put NA. NA. NA, next.
Okay, it's done. That didn't take too long. So this is it. Let me minimize this here. Try and increase this here. Gonna minimize that. So this popped up. This is the guest tool setup. If it doesn't pop up, you can always find it by going to your, going to File Explorer and then going to this PC. And this is it right here. If you click this, you should get the same setup window. You just click Next here. I agree. And it's installing the guest tools here, which shouldn't take too long. So after you're done with the installation of the guest tools, you can restart and then you should be able to now log in. And we are logged in. And as you can see, we can adjust our screen here. And that's about it. I mean, you can check. Let's quick go ahead and I check uh, internet access here. I'm gonna go ahead and open the command prompt. I'll do cmd. Um, let me ping google.com. And I'm able to ping google.com. And as you can see, I showing that I'm connected and I have, I have internet access. So that's pretty much it. That's how you can install Windows 11 on a, a Mac device. I hope this information has been helpful. I'll catch you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.